All right, so uh, here we are, part two. Uh, if you remember previous video, we showed you how we rigged up that uh, kite rod for meat fishing, the whole wind-on system. Uh, we're in the boat now, headed out. We got the bait loaded up in the back. I'm gonna grab a little bit of ice here in a minute and uh, pop out right out front. Uh, there's been some kings and some tunas around, a few dolphins, so see if we can get a couple bites and uh, have some fun. So we're out here, we set up at about 145, super windy. We probably got about 20 knots of wind off the south and we got a real hard south tide. So it's super sloppy. Uh, right now we're just getting the kite spread up. I got uh, a, gog, a gog in the long in the middle uh, and a herring on the short. So under these wind conditions, we'll see how that herring fishes, but we're getting them out now. Normally we wouldn't be using a net that big, but all the small nets at home have holes in them. So that's what we got. All right, I'm gonna hook this guy in the shoulder. Pitch him out on the other side here as a flat line bait. We got wind against the current, so this might be a little interesting. What I did there, this is a flatline gog that we stinger rigged. So I got two hooks in it, a lead hook and a trailer hook. And we'll show you on another video another time, but we actually ran the trailer hook, the stinger rig, up inside the skin of the bait, and it makes for a really nice presentation. Clean. Don't feel like I'm tight. There we go. Uh, reel this short a little bit, please. It's acting like a sailfish. Coming swimming at the boat. Down deep now. Shaking his head. I think I saw him come up. Here we go, he's junk, he's gonna jump. They're acting like bonitas now. Coming together. Let's see. Back up on the surface. Yep. See that fast thump? That's textbook bonita now. But we can use him for bait. Bruiser Bonita. And he gave me my bait back. Only problem is it's not alive anymore. So I think we know what he's got on on the back. We had a double header Bonita. All right, so uh, not the target species, but still a lot of fun. We basically uh, had a double here on the right side. At first I was thinking it was acting a little bit like a sailfish. 
saw something come up thrashing on the surface. Turned out we had a, a double header of Big Bonita. So uh, released one here boat side and the other one's in the coffin box. We're gonna strip it out with the strip bait and uh, get the baits back out and see if we can't catch something different. All right, so we just sent down a, a thread fin herring here. I'm gonna actually rig this as a deep bait. Got a little bank sinker here. Sometimes we use rubber cores, which are real nice, but got a lot of wind. A lot of scope in the line. I take that little baby rubber band, go right through the bank sinker, a little half hitch. And I take it on this line here, let it twist around a few times. So, back through my, from my fingers through that rubber band. So, there we go. This thing is a jumbo. You get a bite on this thing, hang on. Good fish right here, I think. There's also been some sharks around, so hoping it didn't start out as a tuna and become a shark. Feeling very shocky. Yeah, if this is not a shark right now, it's a world record something. Good head shakes out of this one. I don't know. It's a short, deep uh, thread fin herring. You think we could get rewarded with at least a decent fisher, as nasty as it is, but this feels like another dead weight jack. Hey, there's gonna be a. Uh, there should be a weight on this when it comes up. You're going to need to grab it and just bust the rubber band. Or there's a bait knife in there that you can cut the rubber band if you want. Oh, it's a jack. It's a giant jack. Look at this shark right there. Well, not the species we're looking for once again. It seems like that's just been the theme of the day. Great battle nonetheless. Going back to our video, look where I'm at. Look where that fish is at. If that had been a tuna, a wahoo, a keeper king, whatever, Riley, reach that gaff out. You don't have to stick it. We're right there. And that's what we're looking to accomplish with that rig. So, mission accomplished. <sighs> Woo! That's a hard fighting fish right there, gentlemen. Ladies. Viewers at home. I'll send him back. Fight another day for somebody else. And stay away from Mr. Shock. There you go, boy. Woo, way he goes. Lives to fight another day. I got one laid out on the bow. He ain't feeling well. 
The guy standing behind that camera ain't feeling well. So we got a few bites. Not necessarily what we were looking to put in the boat. That's why they call it fishing. But uh, we're gonna go ahead and wrap it back up. Get these guys back home where they start feeling a little bit better. And uh, to be continued. <laughs>